This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate fly sim hardware solution. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's 12th March 2021. There is a new A6E Intruder mod available from, I believe this is Corsair Cat. It features an EFM, an external flight model, rather than the usual mod, standard flight model. So I thought we'd better go and give it a quick go. You'll come to this page here in GitHub. I will give you the link to this in the video description. Click code. Click download zip. Once it's downloaded, go to your downloads area. Double click on the zip. Right click on that folder there and copy. We will then paste it in our saved games area. For me, that's C drive. Users. My particular user. Saved games. DTS open beta. Yours may be DCS. In mods, if you don't have a mods folder, call it exactly that and create it. Same thing with aircraft. Right click, paste, and it will paste the folder in there. That's all we need to do to install it. Now I'm going to start DCS up. It's the latest open beta version, 12th March 2021. From the main options, we're going to set the controls up first of all, which you'll need to do. This is, as far as I understand, not based on any other aircraft, so you don't need any other aircraft to be able to run this, which is pretty cool. We're going to go to controls. We're going to select the A6E. Here are the controls I suggest you set up. Starting with axis, you're going to set up pitch, roll, thrust left, thrust right. Zoom view is useful. If you have rudder pedals like I do with toe brakes, wheel brake right, wheel brake left, and rudder. Those are the axes I suggest. Next, into weapons, you must have weapon launch. And I couldn't get weapon select next to work, but best find it anyway. Next, we're going to go to systems, air brake on, off, engine start, engine stop, flaps up, flaps down, landing gear up, landing gear down, nose wheel steering. Next, sensors, bind, target lock, and TDC up, down, left and right. Flight control, trim, nose up, that's all we've got at the moment, we don't have any other trims, and uh, we don't need the rest for the time being. And that is our lot for the time being, I'm going to go OK to that. And we're going to make a new mission to show how to go and fly it. In a new mission in Caucasus with some generic bad guys there. New plane group. Click it there. USA. Select from here. A6E. Skill. Client or player if it's going to be single player. Add. A waypoint there. Armament. Pylons 1 and 5. Air to air missiles. Aim9M. Aim9X. Didn't realise this ever had the Aim9X but okay. Bombs, you've got a series of various bombs there, as you can see. Fuel tanks, pods, test gun pod, we'll have them, I believe. Same thing over this side. Pylons 2 and 4, pretty much the same thing. This time we'll go have some rockets. And in the middle, pretty much the same stuff, and we're just going to go for a bomb. There we go. So we've got, at the moment, sidewinders, gun pods, rockets, and unguided bombs. That would do for us. Note, do not try and start from a runway. The guys testing this, if you start from the runway or if you start from an apron, basically anywhere on the ground, about 50% of us, it just crashes. You can't even get into the cockpit. So I suggest if you're going to have a play with this mod, air spawn it. Otherwise, you probably won't even get into the, into the cockpit before it crashes. Good time to point out, this is extremely early access alpha stage of this mod. Really, it's too early in this mod's development to actually really do anything with it other than to have a quick look. So if you want to go and have a quick look, let's go. If you want to actually use this mod for anything like bombing people and missions, sorry, it's just not at that stage yet. You would have to wait. Save. In we go. Select one in the air. Do not select ones on the ground. Okay, in we go. I'm back. Pause on there so we can look around. The first thing you'll see is a beautifully model cockpit. It really is quite impressive, obviously. It needs textures to be added still, but the modelling here in here, I think it's top-notch. Um, a lot of time has been spent on here. And what we've also got is a clickable cockpit. Not a 100% clickable cockpit, like a proper module, probably about a 30 to 40% clickable cockpit. So if you went through the usual process of uh, clicking on various things, you can see... ...kind of stage we are. That's not clickable. That's not clickable. That's not clickable. That's not clickable. The engine stuff is, and I get the feeling we do have a cold start procedure, but again, if you're like me, your PC will just crash as soon as it's on the ground. Uh, there's not really any point of trying to debug it and find why it's crashing. The mod's just not at a good enough stage yet, so 
looks fine. Um, so you've got stuff here you can click regarding generators and engines and stuff. Uh, some of this stuff is modelled. No, none of that is. Uh, flaps. Let me get that working. Crank buttons work. In front here, got some controls that appear to work. Well, at least they're modelled in terms of the switches. Up here, we appear to be modelled. Whether they do anything or yet. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, in fact, they do. So there's the fuel gauge. You can see all this basic stuff's been programmed. Checking different tanks just to, to show what's showed on here, the uh, fuel gauge. It's pretty cool. And I've got my other stuff here. Drop tanks. Air to air refueling. Whether it works or not, I don't know. I'm not even going to try because it's, it's just not at that stage to worth bothering yet. Uh, parking brake. Pretty sure that works. Gear handle works. I'll try that now. That may or may not we go. And where are we? Uh, IFE type system works. A model there. Very similar to the Tomcat. Got ladder gauges. Uh, radar altimeter. Alpha gauge does not appear to be working. Speedo is working. Barometric altimeter is working. Compass is working. Probably a gyro compass. I don't know. In fact, it's a HDI by the looks of it. Appears to be working, ADI appears to be working, G meter I think is working, VSI works, clock, uh, not sure, not sure, yes, uh, where else are we, yes that works there, radio almost certainly does not work, uh, hook I think does work, zap, we have a hook, will it land, will it trap on the carriers, I don't know, possibly, but uh, again, not really at that stage to even worry about that yet. Uh, this stuff down here, I haven't actually worked out what it is. It's to do with this, the VDI, same as on the Tomcat or similar to the Tomcat. As it does do stuff, but I don't know what it does. This scope down here, I haven't worked out what it is. Some other stuff here modelled. That's it here, this stuff's not modelled. Weapons panel, we'll come back to in a minute. We can, it is multi-crew in that we can jump over to the other person, but it's not working yet. Uh, that, sorry, wrong button. You know, it puts you in the middle of the engine or something stupid, so I'm not going to worry about that. We can shift ourselves over here a bit. We From the pilot, uh, some of this stuff is modelled here. All the pilot stuff is modelled. Whether it works or not, I don't know. Uh, Tacan appears to be modelled. Whether it works or not, again, it just doesn't matter at the moment. It's not there yet. Uh, radio appears to be modelled here. IFF not modelled. Uh, air conditioning modelled, you know, as far as it can be, obviously. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, stuff back here. Anti-ice, apparently modelled. And back there, some stuff modelled. It's a pretty impressive start. It's a good interior model. Obviously, it needs texturing and lighting. But otherwise, it's good. It's got a good set of um, controls already that work, which is good. The screens and stuff, as far as I'm aware, nothing really works at the moment, but we'll see. It's got a HUD there sort of works at the moment in the stuff sort of fits on but also sort of doesn't so we'll leave that for the time being things like these indexes and warning lights and indicators nothing's modeled on here yet as far as i'm aware nothing on the uh i don't actually know what this guy's called rio wizard navigator navigator probably on the as far as i'm aware nothing is modeled over there yet for his his stuff nuclear none of it's modeled down there but it's quite cool so let's move on to some wet webs. Um, so, pylon selectors, same as in the A4. I want to go up for guns, up for guns. Master arm on. I want to go guns ready. And I want to go gun selector. You can see the bullets come out, look. No idea what kind of gun that is. Bombs, rockets, we cannot get to work. So, for instance, if I went bombs, whoops, uh, if I, it says reselect, that means you put some invalid options in there. Uh, so, I will need to get rid of that. What have I done wrong? Oh, yes, I need bombs. Salvo or bomb train. That should be a valid option, but as you can see, no part of drop. I suppose I'll put gear up really, shouldn't I? I suppose I should put flaps up as well. I suppose I should put my hook up as well. As you can see, we can't get the bomb to drop. 
We've been at it for an hour or so. Uh, rockets. Uh, rocket train or rocket salvo. We can't get the rockets to fire either. Maybe we're doing something. It's not worth spending any time at the moment at this stage. But uh, at least we've got the gun firings. Put the guns back on. So that's all we've got working at the moment. Right, let's go on to the flight model. It is an EFM. External flight model. It means it's completely separate. It's not using any of the pre-made uh, standard flight model. Uh, which is why we believe it, it does not require any existing FC3 or whatnot. So let's just go and shoot some baddies real quick. The flight model... I don't want to put the guy off or anything, but I mean, it feels pretty terrible at the moment. I mean, I'm, I'm on zero throttle and I'm going 720 knots, so obviously it's not working at the moment. But go in here and shoot some baddies. Oh, it shoots over there, does it? <laughs> okay, yeah. there you go. Not going to get many kills. Nearly 800 knots and in an intruder with no throttle on. I'm going to try landing. It's going to be almost impossible to land because if you, when you come and fly this, and I suggest you do, you know, support the guy support the intruder why not it feels like if you imagine it had a pole going up on the lift vector about 100 feet up there and on that pole you put an elephant so all of your inertia was kind of a bit wrong that's how it feels i'm going to try landing almost certainly i'll crash but we'll try anyway let's put that gear down at 400 knots i'm assuming they're knots and not kilometers an hour why would it be kilometers an hour it's highly unlikely isn't it gear down fucking fine uh, flaps down we didn't put the hook out shall we Oh, air brakes, air brakes, mustn't get the air brakes if I get them working. Air brakes! Sub, sub, sub. Now the question is, will it crash? If I do manage to land, will it crash? I get the feeling they must be kilometres an hour because I'm stalling it, you know, very fast. Yeah, the guys say it's probably kilometres an hour. Just realised I had your mute, Simba, because um, you were doing a bit of heavy breathing. How are you finding it so far? <laughs> yeah, it must be kilometres an hour, right? Because I feel like I'm going about 100 knots. Yeah, when I have to view it, it's normal knots. Oh, right. Should have done that. Yeah, 140 knots. Yeah, it's kilometers an hour. Well, I'm going to try and land at 140 knots. Godspeed. Yes. What we'll probably find is I probably will be able to land, but it probably will lock the computer up when I get down, which is a really annoying this, thing. This might be a good time to inform you that the ejection does not work. The ejection so. seat doesn't work. <laughs> right. Well, that's okay, Simba. We won't panic. Also, have you noticed that the aeroplane, where the man... Oh, hang on, it's because I'm over here. Ha, 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 just... Doesn't matter. I had a bit of a cap moment there. Oh. I did find if I turned autopilot and yep. this auto stabilizers on, it flies a little easier. Oh, does it really? Right. That makes yeah. sense. It's oh. bottom... It's center console... Roger. Around thigh area. Yeah. Oh my god, I think I landed. Simba, I think I've landed. Right, let's see if it crashes now. This is the first time I've managed to land without blowing up, by the way, Valley Views. And I'm quite an experienced pilot, and I rolled over again. Well, there you go. Um, <laughs> I was doing, mine's doing something funny, Simba. What's it doing? <laughs> What's it doing? Stop. stop it. Please stop it. Download it, go and fly it, start it from the air so it doesn't crash. Have a bit of fun, support the maker who's obviously put a lot of work into it and it needs a lot more work as you can see. But I wouldn't actually try doing anything with it by the looks of things you're just going to get frustrated. Anything you want to add all that you found while we've been messing about? It's very... Very beta stage. Very, very beta I'd say it's alpha stage. It's not even released. I don't think it's even beta yet. Nothing's really supposed to work at the moment. Right, um, otherwise I hope that was useful and see you later.